again I'm back and today I'm gonna show you how I revise Leaving Cert Biology. Um, biology is my best subject and I feel like it is the only subject I could kind of show you how I revise as I do pretty well in it so here goes. The first thing I have is highlighting and writing into my book. So this work is done in class. I don't go home and highlight myself. We Before quarantine, when we could bring our books to school, I would always have my book with me, highlight what I needed to and write in any extra information that is not in the book. My teacher would normally tell us what to write down and then sometimes she would say stuff that would help me remember, would help me remember the stuff. So I would write down some extra stuff myself. But other than that, I highlight first and I have stuff this written in my book. picture notes copy and I'm gonna say it now. You can do this in a red pen, a black pen, it really doesn't matter. I just prefer to have different colours because I am a visual learner and I love having diagrams and stuff. And it works for me. I am pretty much a H1 student in biology, so it works for me. It might not work for you with like the whole colour thing and stuff, but you can do it with whatever you want. This is just the way I do it personally. Um, so I'll have this. I updated my food chapter because I felt it did need a bit changing when I moved on to sixth year, but I will show you the food chapter I have done in fifth year. So basically, right, out of what she asked us to highlight, I would then bring that into my own notes and form it in just a good format for me to remember. So example, this is the start of the chapter. It is what we need for food. Example here. And then I just have all these three here. As you can see, that's a significant amount that I just didn't need. And I've condensed it down into more comprehensive notes. Um, so that's kind of what I did for fifth year. It's just a it's just a mass of the stuff she asked us to highlight and then some of my extra notes. So when I'm taking my notes, I do not rewrite the book. I'm writing what my teacher asked me to highlight. Okay, another website that I, I use for biology notes um, and chemistry actually is the Chronicle Flask. I started using this like summer slash start of sixth year. They have chemistry, biology, and I think they have physics as well. And then they have all the junior start science. So I would 100% recommend oh, using this. This is the food chapter they have on the clinical flask as you can see it's six pages of the notes just just done out for you i think it's amazing to use and they're so easy to understand as well and i feel like the format that it's in just makes it easier to look at it's easy on the eyes it's not like a big chunk of content that you need to learn and i think the spacing that's kind of just looking deeper into it but the spacing just helped me a lot so whenever I wouldn't have time to do notes, um, even though I'd probably end up doing them after like the test, I would go onto this website and they'd have it all ready for you. He also has um, he also has a task sheet and then he has the solutions over here. So that's really good. I'm pretty sure he added quizzes as well. Um, yeah, there's quizzes as well. So you can test yourself on this website and then you can also look at some slides. So it's, it's like having an actual teacher. I said I'd show you my biology notes copy for this year. So it's just, it literally is just the exact same thing. It's just me doing my notes again. Social instance, here we go. And it is based a lot more on his notes as I just find them. They, they really are brought down to exactly what you need to know. And I really love that. So um, yeah, it's still a mixture of notes, but I think it would be very beneficial especially if you did not have time to write out your own notes to use his notes because they are really helpful up next is how i use flashcards the only thing that can become your best friend are flashcards and these are good for active learning rather than just passively reading your notes and not really taking in as much information as you can be so i love using flashcards for definitions and um other things as well so i just have these for as definition cards just with like the roles and questions on the front and the back again if you are watching this video now i wouldn't advise going making a bunch of flashcards because it's just at this stage of the year i wouldn't be wasting time making them i'd more so be trying to learn so i have the app quizlet it's a website as well i would 100 percent recommend this for people who don't really have the time and are kind of like late into the year for like studying like their subjects um i go to quizlet and literally search up the name of the chapter they have biology food here like just search that up and then i went on to the first one i saw 
and I did notice that it is my book I looked and I compared it with my book I was like this is the exact same order and everything it's perfect they have all the terms all the definitions and everything and it's just it's just amazing if you get me <laughs> so you can like easily go onto that person's quizlet who made theirs public and just start learning it like okay, so active recall is another thing that i really love using and i think it's overlooked at loads of people think highlighting and reading your book before the test will be grand and at the same time it could be fine for you but like over a long period of time i think active recall helps the best so my friend sent me this i have no idea where she got it from but i will try my best to link it down in the description as well as everything else okay so it has a uh, it's a whole booklet it's like 94 pages um, we're gonna go down to the food chapter since we've just been dealing with food so all this time. aids you in assessing yourself. So basically, assess a self-assessment, active, re active recall. You can form these questions yourself on questions you know you need extra looking at. So, like, example, say the function of food, like, I don't know, there's, like, tree or something, but, like, example, a source of energy. So, obviously, I take that as green because I know that. And, like, just keep going. And then at the end, they also have practice exam questions that you can literally practice here they have 25 no not even 25 they have 54 questions for the food um for the food and the last thing i use for active recall is study clicks their quizzes they are kind of easy questions but they're good to like refresh your mind on things that you've done in the past this is the number one basic for everyone but exam questions you know practicing exam questions in your papers and on study clicks they are so good to have questions by topic where you can literally um go to your level and literally find the questions for the exact topic you're looking for sorry it's always so hard to find stuff on this but yeah and then you can do these sometimes i do them on a whiteboard and then just like wipe them off or sometimes you could just you just do them on a page but it's cool to do them on a whiteboard so you can wipe them off, especially if you don't want to waste paper. But yeah, um, that is basically everything I do to study for biology. I kind of do the exact same for chemistry as well. But yeah, I love my science subjects. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope this helped you a lot. I'm going to link everything down in the description that I used. And I hope this was helpful.